In this video, we're going to have a look at how you can customize your themes in your Power BI reports. We're going to look at the basics of how you can use themes, how they work, how you can customize them, and how you can use the JSON file to customize it beyond what's available in Power BI Desktop. At the end of the video, we'll also cover some of the tools that you can use to make this theme generation process a lot easier. So stick around for that. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's jump in. So setting themes on your reports, even outside of Power BI, is a good general practice to follow. This ensures that your reports have a consistent look and that you following branding guidelines like uh, color schemes, font types, and more. In the context of Power BI though, it's a lot more important for developers because the themes dictate what properties and settings that your visuals follow when you put them in your page for the first time. So when you bring in a card visual into your page, what font color it has, what background color it has is dictated by the theme. Now, while you can customize this from the format pane when you bring it in, not having to customize it every time and just having the default settings, your preferred settings, would save you a lot of time from having to customize and making your visuals look consistent. You can access your themes from the view ribbon at the top here from your Power BI desktop. And if we expand this theme section here, we'll show you some preset themes that Microsoft has provided for you that you can use straight away. If we select one of these themes, for example, you'll notice that all of the visuals here in our page follow suit by changing the theme or the colors based on that theme. In a real life scenario though, you'd want a more customized version of these themes that follow the branding guidelines that your organization has like color schemes, for example. You can do that from this page as well. So under the view ribbon, expanding it, and with the theme that you have selected, you can go to customize current theme, which will allow you to customize the global settings of your theme itself. So things like your general colors, the text font family and font size for various parts of your texts, general settings for your visuals, such as backgrounds, borders, headers, page setting itself like the canvas and wallpaper, as well as the filter pane if you're using it. If we customize this theme, so for example, going back to naming colors, let's change one of the main colors here from green to uh, pink, for example, like this, and we hit apply. The color that you change in your theme now gets applied to the visuals in your Power BI report. There's one thing to note though, in terms of the behavior of your theme colors and how they react to your visuals themselves. So if we look at the bar chart here, for example, as you notice, the bar colors changed to the theme color that we've set. If we go to the format pane of this bar chart under columns, if we just expand the color here to have this selector, you notice that the color theme that we've updated is here on the third column of this theme colors. If you want your dashboards to follow a dynamic behavior where it changes the color based on what themes you've selected, you want to make sure you choose one of the colors here from the themes color. Now, in this case, we chose the color here, or by default, it's taking the first color from the theme here, apart from the white and black. Uh, which is the third from this column. But notice if I choose a different theme here. So let's choose one of these other themes. Now let's go back to the same setting. And as you can see, the color of the bars now changed relative to the color in the same third theme. However, you might find yourself in a scenario where you want the color to stay as they are, regardless of what theme you select. Now to do that, you want to make sure that instead of choosing the theme colors from this selector here, you go to more colors and either choose the color from the picker here or the hex or the RGB. This ensures that the color that you've set is static and that it doesn't change as the themes get updated. So let's have a look at this. So let's change this to orange, for example. And now if we change the theme back to the original one, the one that we've updated, as you can see, that color gets retained. So, so regardless of which theme we choose, as you can see, the color in that bar chart remains static. So I just brought up this interesting behavior because it's not really something that is quite obvious. And you might have some scenarios where you want a dynamic or static way to update the colors based on themes. So just bear that in mind if you're using themes uh, with your dashboards. Once you've customized 
is your theme, you can export this as a JSON file and import it to your other reports to ensure that you have a consistent look across all of them. To do that, you can go to the view under themes again and then hit save current theme. This will allow you to save your theme as a JSON file, which you can open using any text editor like VS Code or even Notepad. You can then import this theme into your other Power BI dashboards by going to themes again, and then from here, browse for themes. This will allow you to select the theme that you have customized. Let's open up this JSON file that we've exported. So I'm just gonna open it using VS Code here. And let's beautify this by going to Shift Alt F. It will just organize the JSON in a more readable format here. As you can see, this theme file contains a bunch of properties and attributes that are pertaining to the global settings that we've updated. We have things like the name of the theme, some colors, and just to note that it doesn't include all of the possible combinations that you found on the global settings option in Power BI, only the ones that you've customized. So if you didn't touch the font family, for example, it won't be showing up here. However, if you change the font family to Arial or Georgia, for example, it will basically show up here and it will be the default font family. Having access to the JSON theme file and being able to edit it outside of Power BI Desktop is huge because it means that we're able to access other properties that are not normally customizable from the Power BI Desktop. So for example, in this dashboard, I have a bunch of visuals that maybe I want to customize or settings that I want to enable or disable, which is not available from the customize themes option in Power BI Desktop, but we can control this and change them if we know the right properties and attributes to update in the JSON theme file. So some of the settings that I typically change would be, you know, changing the font size or changing the colors or maybe adding borders and having visual borders that are rounding. I typically like, like adding those to my card visuals, but if you do the same setting for the new card visual, for example, it's not in the right place because size and style rounding is not the same as the size and style for the individual cards. So all of these settings, not just the global setting, but individual setting for each of your visuals can be controlled if you know the right settings using the JSON schema. Luckily, Microsoft has released the JSON schema for the report themes for Power BI, which basically lists out all of the available visuals and their properties to help you construct and add these extra settings to your own visuals. They even update this every month, which is good because the Power BI team updates their visuals pretty frequently with new settings and new options. And this schema ensures that you always have access to these new properties and what they're called. To have a look at the schema, we simply go to one of these. So for example, let's choose the most recent one that we have access to the February, 2025 one. We'll go to download. We'll just download this file here. So I've just opened the file in VS Code here. And like before, we're gonna do Shift Alt F just to make this a little bit nicer to look at. And then let's uh, collapse or expand this, Control K and Control Zero. And then from here, you can simply explore the different properties that uh, is available, things like data colors, visual styles, or other properties here that you can, you can modify. If you're new or not familiar with JSON, this view can be a little bit daunting for you. So Ruth from Kerbal.com actually created a video about kind of JSON themes and how you can customize your you know, JSON theme files to add new settings based on the schema that is available here. However, if you didn't wanna customize the JSON theme files or you're too scared to kind of mess it up, there are a bunch of tools out there that can make this process a little bit easier. So the first one that I mentioned is Ruth from Kerbal, who has a product uh, here, which is the JSON theme bundle. And I found this from, from YouTube, basically. She was just showing how you can use it to find the right settings from the right visual and update your JSON file accordingly. So this is something that you can follow if you didn't wanna do the heavy lifting of learning about how the schema works and you know what settings to apply, what it's called and what you can put in that, uh, in that property. This product I would say is more of a hands-on approach to JSON editing and theme customization because it does require you to know a little bit of JSON so that you can customize and look for those properties and apply them in the right structure in your theme file. 
Just note that it is a paid product and it costs about 450 euros last time I checked. If you prefer a more visual experience, Power BI Tips have their own theme generator that lets you see all the settings possible in a more user-friendly format with things like drop-downs, sliders, and a live preview of your changes that gives you immediate feedback on the settings that you're changing. So for example, we were looking at the global properties that you could do uh, from the Power BI customized themes, but you have access to other visuals here, like let's say the pie chart, and uh, like let's say you want to change the border just for the pie chart you can change the colors here add a radius if you want to show or hide if you don't want the border and if you want the width for that border you can add it here and on the right here is a preview of the changes that you've made if you have subscription to power bi tips so to use this tool, it does require a subscription, which is uh, $3 per month, and it gives you access to their other tools, which I haven't really checked out yet. Personally, I think it's worth the subscription price, even if you only use it just once. If you don't want to spend money on theme generations, a good alternative is this theme generator by point. It lets you customize all the different settings from global level settings to individual visuals and their different properties. So from the left hand side here, you can choose the different settings that you might want to customize. So things like color palettes, uh, global settings like global level settings, page canvas settings to individual visuals here, like uh, you know your typical line charts, for example. And if you expand on some of these settings, you can adjust what the different settings are for, for those properties. As you make changes to these, uh, like let's say turning off the axes like this, you can hover over the visuals on the left, which will give you a preview of how the settings that you've made would look like in a visual, for example. And you have an option here to minify the output, which basically ensures that you only include the properties that you have updated or selected from the settings here. So basically what this means is that if you don't update a property on an individual basis for any of these visuals, when you add that visual into your Power BI report, it will use the global settings that you've applied for your report. So maybe um, what type of font it needs to use or what border it will inherit it from the global settings. I think this is an excellent tool that everyone should check out. The only thing to bear in mind is that from the change logs, it looks like the latest updates for this tool was back in July 2024. This means that it might not support all of the new visuals and updates that were released since then. So nevertheless, this tool is free, so I think it's still worth checking out. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know a little bit more about themes and how you can customize it for yourself for your reports. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so it'll do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you next one. Bye.